Now to a developing story out of Liberty City. Police are asking for the public's help to find who shot and killed a man at a busy intersection in broad daylight. CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor is live from Liberty City with the reaction. And Yvonne, what else do you know about what happened here? The man is described as, the victim, I should say, is described as a man in his 20s, Elliot, who actually was shot multiple times. The vehicle is still parked over there. We are on Northwest 7th Avenue. He was traveling north when he was shot. As you can see, this is still an active scene. Heart-wrenching moments when relatives of the victim get confirmation their loved one is dead after a shooting. Obviously, the suspect or suspects involved are quite brazen as they did this in broad daylight. It happened shortly before 12.30 p.m. at the intersection of Northwest 7th Avenue and 58th Street. According to police, the victim was driving this black SUV. Chopper 4 was up above the scene. You can see from this aerial video the body covered by a white tarp. And from this ground video, bullet holes on the windshield of the vehicle. I only heard the shots. This man, who asked not to be identified but lives in the area, rushed to the scene. By the time I came around the corner from my house, I seen the body on the ground. City of Miami Fire Rescue also responded. And he was pronounced deceased here on scene, unfortunately. Police found a gun on the ground, but they are not saying whether it belonged to the victim or if it was used to commit the crime. We need to stop the violence. Anybody with any information, we're urging you to come forward. The smallest tip can help detectives close out a case. So police are still not classifying this as a drive-by shooting. They said that they're not sure yet about that, but they're urging the public that if they do know something to call Crime Stoppers of Miami-Dade, we, we give you the phone number on the screen. Remember that your identity can remain anonymous. We are live in Liberty City. Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.